Hey everyone, Caleb with Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with a video that I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't make because either they think it's dumb or they think someone might uh, inch in on their turf, but that is my best markets for selling on eBay. So this is not my best niches. Uh, my best niches, I've done another video on that. You can go down to the uh, comments section below and ask for that, or you can just go down to uh, where it says subscribe right next to that is my channel. When you're down there though, be sure to hit subscribe, but you can go to my channel and you can actually look up my uh, best niches uh, video or videos. I'll probably have more in the future. But uh, this particular one is my markets that I sell to. And by markets, I mean regions. So I've got uh, a few, just 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 a couple of all the different places that I've gone uh, and sold books over the years. This is so eBay for me. I print them out on the 8.5 by 11 sheets and they have the bottom info, have all the stuff from the buyers, all the info on the books, all that sort of stuff. They let you keep that. So I've kept that uh, for most of my books over the years. And as you can see, I've, I've sold I've sold a couple books over the years, just just a couple, and this isn't even all the ones that I have. But uh, that's I've gone through that. I've gone through my memory, all that sort of stuff, and I wanted to get to you guys on what my best markets for selling books are. Uh, and the reason why I want to share that is first off, for you guys, you can think about, oh well, what kind of books would someone want in that state or in that market? What kind of this? What kind of that? How would I advertise to those people? All that sort of stuff. So I'm sharing you guys all this information that you guys might not have. Uh, for me, I've been doing this business for about a decade, not about a decade, better part of a decade, sorry. Uh, I can't wait until I hit the 10 year mark, that'll feel really cool. But I've been doing this business for quite a while. So with all that said, I am just going to list off uh, my states that I have sold the most books to. I'm gonna do like a first, second, and third place sort of thing. So in first place, literally by like two times almost, is Texas. I honestly would have thought California would be ahead because uh, what I have found is a lot of the books that I buy end up uh, being sold sort of locally. And since California has a lot of people locally to me, I would have thought California would be in first place, but not even sort of, guys. Texas literally had like double of what California has for me. I When I saw that, like I knew I've sold a lot of books and sent them to Texas, but when I saw that, I was like, really? Texas. I mean, I've been to Texas. It's beautiful. I know a lot of people there that are really smart, like really, really smart and read a lot. And I know it's an up and coming area. And I know like a lot of stuff's really cool. But like when I was thinking, I was like, I would think Texas, even with population, I would think they'd be tied with California, but like double California. That's what my sales are. It's like, that is insane. Uh, next place, obviously, though, is California, which I think is interesting that California is literally half of Texas and it's second place. Uh, and obviously, California, it makes sense. There's a lot of people there. Uh, following up that uh, third place, it's a lot closer. Uh, so maybe between 70 and 90 percent of what California has. And third place, I actually had to award that to several states. So the first one, uh, the first two actually are rather obvious. So that'd be New York and Florida. So New York and Florida, they are rather similar to the first two in populations. Uh, they are very large states, so obviously they'll have a lot of people. Uh, beyond that, uh, for third place still, we have Nevada, Kentucky, uh, Arizona, PA, uh, Pennsylvania, they call it PA there though, uh, Indiana and Ohio. So those are all the states that I, I, I sell most of my books to. Um, so Nevada, uh, I'm just gonna go through all of it again. Nevada, Kentucky, Arizona, New York, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Florida, Ohio. So that's for third place. And for all the states um, that I do sell books in but haven't sold a lot in, I'm sorry, you guys didn't make the cut. This is just my best ones overall that I've sold to. Uh, but yeah, that's just how that sort of works. But there's a lot of things that I think is interesting about these numbers. So first off, Texas guys, there's, there's a lot going on in Texas right now that makes it a great market for just buying and selling books in. Uh, beyond that, California, it's always gonna be a good place because there's so many people. Um, and beyond that though, we have, uh, for the third place, we have Nevada. Nevada makes sense. There's lots of people retiring there, a good amount of people living there. Uh, Arizona makes sense. That's where a lot of people retire. It's where a lot of people live. Makes sense to have a lot of people there. Uh, New York, obviously a huge population, a lot of readers. Uh, next up, PA, again, a large population, so it makes sense. After that, Indiana. There's a lot of people living in Indiana. Uh, if you guys aren't from there or have never been there, it's not as small of a state as you'd think for where it is in the Midwest or 
I don't know if it is technically Midwest, but it's close enough to the Midwest. Uh, I'm a West Coast guy, so anything over there is not worth going to. <laughs> Stay on the West Coast, because the West Coast is the best coast, you know? Uh, but Indiana, there's a lot of smart people there, though, though, and lots of reading, lots of money, all that sort of stuff. So these people buy a lot of collectible books, from my experience. Uh, next up is Florida. Again, we have a lot of retirement uh, population there. Retired people read a lot. Uh, you also have a lot of money in Florida, so they buy a lot of collectibles. Next up is Ohio, and Ohio, again, good population, lots of readers, a lot of money, so that's another reason why that one's uh, getting a lot of money. But Kentucky, that's the funny one, guys. So Kentucky, I actually think I've sold like, I don't know, I'm gonna say just a couple dozen books to Kentucky over the years. And the funny thing about that is those are the only ones that I've sold to people in Kentucky. Besides that, I have sold dozens and but dozens and dozens and dozens of books that went to Kentucky, but they weren't going to stay in Kentucky. So uh, eBay, they have their uh, international partner program, whatever that is, and they actually have me send most of my books that go through that to Kentucky, and from Kentucky they ship it out to wherever. Uh, I've had it go to a few other places as well, but Kentucky generally is the biggest one so it's funny that what put Kentucky over the edge to put it into third place uh, one of the third place positions was the fact that they had the international books going there and I just thought it'd be an interesting thing to mention because I honestly didn't think that I had that many sales going to Kentucky that were international but I guess there's a ton that I did so I never thought that they were the number one international shipping place for me so I thought that was rather interesting and next time you guys see a book going out to Kentucky maybe Maybe it's going to the international uh, shipping. So that one, if you guys do do anything to Kentucky and you think it's international, if you don't know, you should know, though. Uh, that's on, like, an airport way. It says airport on the address. So it's sort of funny just to keep in mind because it's like, huh, that's cool to think that my books are going to a different country or this or that. And, again, you'll probably know if it's an international one, but it's just something that I personally always think is rather cool. So with all that said and done, though, guys, I hope this video helped. Uh, Texas. Good for you guys. You went big. Everything's bigger in Texas. I guess your reading population is too, so good work. Uh, and congratulations to the other top three positions. Uh, so I think that's like 10 states that were top. So congratulations to them too. Uh, and for those of you guys, though, that aren't any of those states or anything like that, uh, I just think it's some really inf important information if you are selling books because it might give you a couple ideas on how to advertise, what kind of books to buy, how you want to word your things when you're selling it, all that sort of stuff. So hope that helps. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to drop a like, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.